Uh, Nestor is one of the great characters in Baltimore, a man who speaks his mind on any subject. Nestor, besides being a local radio guy, has a nationwide talk show, yep. Nasty Nationwide, on the Sporting News Radio Network, every afternoon from 2 to 6. We thought with the Baltimore, with, with the Indianapolis Colts coming into town on Sunday, <coughs> and we might just want to get a few thoughts, comments, and observations from, ladies and gentlemen, Nasty Nestor Aparicio. How are you, Nestor? You know, I was really concerned today, uh, Marty and Don, that I would not get my coffee with mug, uh, but uh, Patrick here has given it to me, and I will be going to the Exxon and filling this puppy up oh, right about game time, about 20 minutes from now. So. Well, that kind of okay. works out. Yeah. But there's a whole generation or two generations in Baltimore yeah. that don't know from the Colts. My kid, I mean, you know, he has no clue. I guess if you're under the age of 30, you just don't get it. Uh, and uh, But unfortunately, we do get it, and I think there will be a little piece of that. I mean, I'll just give you an example for me. I mean, you know about my book, and I wrote a lot about my dad, my book, and my experiences going to, uh, uh, to games. My dad and I went to a lot of Colt games, and when I think of the Colts, I, I don't think of me or I don't think of Burt Jones. I think of my dad, okay. and uh, I guess that's the hardest thing. You know, when I go out and see the Colts play in Baltimore, I'll think of my dad on Sunday. All right, let me... Join us from New York, where he's covering the World Series is newcomer Nestor Aparicio, talk show host for Sporting News Radio. How are you? I'm pretty good. Are you related to Louis Aparicio? I sure am. He's my uh, my dad's first cousin. Oh, how about that? Great <laughs> Chicago White Sox shortstop. <laughs> yeah, you say I'm in New York covering the World Series. I'm not so sure. Last night it was Jordan. It was the World Series. A uh, pretty big night for New York sports fans and a tough night. Usually they're kind of greedy and they want it all. Last night they couldn't get it all. They could only take one or the other. Yeah, the uh, well, let's talk about the World Series. Sure. Uh, does uh, last night's uh, game change anything? No, I think it changes everything. Uh, Kurt Schilling's going to go tonight in a, a Game 4 situation. If he loses tonight, Bob Brenly is going to be second guessed for all times. Uh, I, I guess the thinking here is you need to beat Schilling or Johnson two more times uh, if you're the Yankees. You've now created a mismatch if you're Bob Brenly in a Game 5 situation where Mike Messina will face uh, Miguel Batista in that situation. Randy Johnson's not going to go till Saturday night out in Phoenix. So huge game tonight either way. The Yankees win. They really pick up some momentum going into a Game 5 at home. Now, of course, either way, you still got to go back out to Phoenix and beat Johnson and Schilling uh, uh, on a Saturday or Sunday night situation. But uh, Game 7 would set up to be Clemens and Schilling. Uh, it could really be a classic week for baseball. Well Give me a lot of fun. It's BaltimoreSportsTalk.com right. if you uh, 15, like to play. 15,000. It's limited to 15, so you better get in, right? Yeah, get in now. I mean, it's Tuesday morning. A lot of people are thinking, well, I'm going to do the math and check the RPI ratings. <laughs> Just pick the game. Pick the game. And you know what? The cool thing is, even if you don't win the million dollars, uh, we're giving away a trip to Cancun, uh, Xbox, DVD player, uh, lottery ticket, we get leather recliner from the leather company on Register Number. We, we got all sorts of fun uh, gifts. Listen. And it's free. I mean, the one at the office costs like, you know, yeah. 20 bucks, 50 right. bucks. This is free. All right, here's That's the website. Great. BaltimoreSportsTalk.com. Well, of course, that music can only mean one thing. It's time again for Beat the Pros. Hello, everyone. I'm Nasty Nestor Aparicio. Welcome to the most informed and opinionated football show anywhere on your TV dial. Joining me once again this week, the master of the 46 defense, the guru, former NFL coach, Buddy Ryan, one of the all-time great defensive players to ever play the game, Giants linebacker L.T. Lawrence Taylor. And we welcome you back to Beat the Pros, Week 6 National Football League. Little did we know, when we began this season, we were going to circle Week 6 on the calendar and say, must-win game for the Packers. Tampa Bay, undefeated, cover Sports Illustrated, and it didn't even jinx them last week. I thought for sure that field goal was going in just because they were on SI. Tampa Bay going into Green Bay. Michael, they are still not giving the Buccaneers any respect at 5-0 at this point. They won a game. Maybe they shouldn't have won last week. They're going into Green Bay. Green Bay, 8.5 point favorite. Basically, I guess, saying that Green Bay's 5, 6 points better than Tampa Bay at this juncture, and I don't believe that. Well, I'll tell you one place there's no hot air. It's on the defensive side of the ball. Both of these squads, and luckily for us, we have the defensive guru, the master of the 46, Buddy Ryan here. Buddy, break these defenses down. Uh, New England, well, here's a New Orleans team that uh, two weeks ago went and did business with the uh, Detroit Lions, beat them to a pulp, and then the Lions come back this week, beat the Packers. Such is life in the NFL. But well, we're going to talk more about it. We're going to come back, take a look at the, a couple of the big college football games this weekend. We've also got, the, of course, that big game, Green Bay and Tampa Bay, coming up, as well as Buddy going to the blackboard. When we return, right after this, right here on Beat the Pros. He said he's going to go I'm to the Giants. I'm going to go this week. I'm going to be on the sideline. We have two controversial picks. There's an LT factor here. There's an LT factor. We have to factor the LT in. He's a hard one. 
and no party like a little tea party. Hey, uh, I've heard that. You know, I've heard that about you. I tell you what, stay tuned. We're going to send Buddy over to the Chalk Talk for our weekly free-for-all with a defense he knows a little something about. we we'll return right here on Beat the Pros. Played Saturday night. Only game it's, uh, that's going to matter today is the game being played someplace where we don't have this weather like it. you got to talk to Sopkin, Turk, and tell him to cut this out. Is it, rain, is it raining right now? This isn't funny. I mean, this is just not funny right now. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's not raining. As a matter of fact, I mean, I almost see like a sort of a shadow of daylight over here on the, uh, on the east side. But, uh, no, it's, it's going to rain. It's going to rain a lot. Nestor, thank you very much for that sports and weather update. Yeah. Nestor, after show live now. <laughs> Nestor, we'll talk to you in a little bit. I hope so. Nestor, you're not yeah. sitting on the Babe Ruth statue, are you? Oh, heck, I am. I'm not sitting. I'm standing. I'm all over the oh place. Oh, my gosh. Here. The Bambino and I are having a party down here. It's opening day. It's a little bit of baseball oh. I'm going to get. Oh, my gosh. There are security guards, even I'm as we on. speak, running toward our camera yeah. position. He's on the pedestal. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, looking back on yesterday's game, Palmeiras swinging a hot stick again. Right, right. Got the average up to 275, which really isn't Raphael uh, territory. But uh, yesterday we see Alomar making an incredible play here. I don't know whether Davey Johnson is going to be back today or not. They said that, that it may be tomorrow in New York. But Alomar, Robin, Tomei there. Palmeiras here taking uh, this kid Klein deep. And uh, as I said, three hits yesterday. Game-winning hits last Sunday, Tuesday, or, and Wednesday. Won three games single-handedly this week. And yesterday with the big bat. And, of course, Messina with a little bit of an un messina like effort yesterday when you get a three-hour and 30-minute game from Mike Messina. Mm -hmm. But uh, he did go long enough, uh, seven innings, gave up nine hits, and, uh, and got the win, six and one. Seems like he's been a little bit hard luck this year as far as getting the wins. Jimmy Keat, eight and one. He had six and one. But uh, right. anytime you got two starters, eight and one, eight and one, six and one. You got Cy hey, Young contenders on the same is good. team. Life good. Welcome Or possibly get a WNBA team? You know, they used it more for the NBA arenas. I mean, it's really an offshoot of the NBA for promoting. Matter of fact, when I sang out for the media guys, they actually sent me the official 1998-99 WNBA media guys. So I'm even up on my WNBA. But, you know, <laughs> I mean, I can accept the fact that they pull one in the Wizards organization. Uh, Baltimore might as well be Omaha to them. They couldn't care less. Well, I don't think they want Omaha or Baltimore, and I think they want it to be sister teams. The Mystics and the Wizards are brother sister. I think that's the way they're going to do it so, throughout the league in Charlotte and Utah and everywhere. So we're else. shut out of the WNBA. Uh, I, I wouldn't. I would think it'd be a hard thing to get.